International 2019. We're here joining us today, Peter Merkel. Alain Joseph. Bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> and a bunch of boats that are floating without any wind. We are currently going 0.29 knots of boat speed, meaning the race at this speed will take approximately a million years. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. Amaray. Hopefully the wind picks up later. We will check back in with you. Episode two, there was no wind, so we cracked some beers. <laughs> and now there's a bit of wind. Not a lot. Things happen when you crack a beer in the spirit of straight jacket. Speaking of which, he's jibed and he's now heading towards us. Hello, welcome back. Here's our latest update. It's presently uh, just shy of 6 p.m., which means we've been racing for six hours and we've only gone about 15 miles. Long way to go. However, good news, we're going a little bit faster, five and a half knots, thanks to some wind now coming in. We got a tight reach here with the kite, but we're holding it thanks to Sugar working on his calluses. And I've encouraged him to not take his eyes off that sail. We've recompressed with uh, Flying Circus thanks to a favorable wind shift in our favor, which was, I'd like to say thanks to my amazing tactical abilities, but was really just more shit luck. <laughs> in the meantime, we've been inundated with literally thousands of flies who decided to come on board to die because they would hit the deck and just spontaneously expire and now we're throwing their carcasses overboard. Stay tuned for future updates. Probably around dinner time we're looking forward to Kung Pao chicken and maybe a beer. We'll see how things go. All right, hour seven. I think in the last hour we've only gone about, let's see. Three meters. <laughs> yeah. I think we've only gone about a mile and a half in the last hour. We have a butterfly on board, adding weight, so I'm gonna go kill it. <laughs> At least he's putting weight on the right side of the boat right now. Our sanity is slowly deteriorating. <laughs> Peter on the tiller has not improved our <laughs> fortunes. Nope. But everyone's in the same metaphorical boat as we are. There's Flying Circus, maybe a quarter of a mile away. It's hard to tell on the camera. And way off in the distance, easily three miles behind us, is Straight Jacket, Northern Harrier, and Feluca. We can still hear Northern Harrier. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, off our port side is Rumblefish. So we've actually made some gains on Rumblefish. And then there's another B Fleet, we think a B Fleet boat. From, from from America, America, and uh, he's behind the spinnaker. He's a ways off though, and we're calling him Gelato because we can't remember the actual name of the boat. <laughs> so that's the status. We're back to drinking beers. See if that improves our fortunes a little bit more. Oh, the weather's pleasant, and we've got music playing. So hey, it could be worse. Here's our uh, 8.30 p.m. update. We now have some good wind. We've made a decision to uh, break away from Flying Circus. We were right beside him for a while. He jibed, he's now in closer to shore. We're heading out towards Isle Royale, playing a gamble that the wind out here is gonna be better throughout the late evening. So far it's paying off. We've got 10 knots of wind here now. We're doing just under five knots of boat speed. So we'll see. It's getting cold. Uh huh. And uh, Al's working the spinnaker like a pro. I'm watching it wink. Winking, lots of winking. And we're making our dinner. Probably gonna have to jibe pretty soon, but so far it's looking good. It's Kung Pao. Kung Pao, chicken. Kung Pao. <laughs> Peter likes his Kung Pao spicy. <laughs> it's been 10 hours on the water now. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sun's going down. It's uh, 9.40. We're into the Oreo cookies. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We uh, reconverged with Gracie and he got the better of us. He's about eighth of a mile ahead of us now. And he's heading back out and I'm wondering if we should do the same. Because we're getting a bit of a header here. But we secured the boat, ready for dark. Still have, wait for it, 31 miles to Angus Island, and then another 15 miles back to town. So, a little ways to go. Hopefully the wind keeps up. We're doing 5.7 right now, so it's not so bad. We can keep that up all night. We'll be home tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed. All right, you can't see anything because it's dark. It's 11.15 p.m. We have a long way to go, but at least we have some wind for now. I accidentally just called 911 back in Thunder Bay on my phone, trying to increase the volume on the music. But anyways, we're on a, uh, we're on a sort of a, not quite a reach with the kite up in about, well, it was 12 knots of wind. I think it's down to about 10 again now. We're doing about five knots and we are still uh, 22 miles from Angus Island and then 15 miles after we make the turn. So long way to go. But it's a nice evening. Indeed. It is, uh, I don't know what time. One-ish? One-ish. One-ish. We have a moonrise. Quite pretty. Also of note, the battery on the speaker is still going strong after 12 plus hours. Very impressed. <laughs> Very. We're rocking out to the Eurythmics right now. And we're doing uh, six knots. Basically using the spinnaker like a Genoa. With occasional baubles like that. <laughs> Flying a bit of a tight, tight reach. It's working. And we passed a boat earlier. Well, we think it might have been a boat, but we're not sure. It had a green light. But when the sun comes up, we'll see where we stand. Look at this photograph, every time I do it makes me laugh. Uh, a wet, oh yeah. And what the hell is on Joey's head? This is where I grew up, the present owner must have fixed it up. Uh, like, uh, yeah. The school. Twice. Twice. I must have done it half a dozen times. I wonder if it's too late. <laughs> Should I go back and graduate? Oh, every time I wake up, I'm at the back door. <laughs> It's time to say it, time to say it. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> what time is it? 3.30? We've made the turn at Angus. Thunder Bay in the distance. 3.40. 3.40 a.m. Yep. We're uh, flying the Genoa now. Going a little slower than I'd like, but I'm not sure what else we can do. Sad news, the uh, speaker just died, so no more music. Oh. Oh, good speaker. Yeah, it lasted. 15 hours? No. Almost. Almost. Yeah. 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 Alright, it's 5 a.m. We're about five miles away, five and a half. 
We're just passing the Welcome Islands. We've got some good breeze here. We almost need to put a reef in. We're all kind of tired now and giddy. <laughs> We're talking about robot chicken. Whoa. And the tow rail's in the water. Tow rail's in the water. Might be reefing. Better go. We'll be back later. We're coming into the finish. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> Photo finish. Just got to see the sunrise a bit. Got one more tack to throw in here. We're done like dinner. Lock in that starboard side traveler again. Thanks. Guys okay, set? Yep. There we go. Six twenty and seventeen seconds. Cool. All right. Sweet. Nicely done, boys. Yeah, we survived. Don't hit the other no way.